York, you know, Atlantic City should be somewhere that resonates with people as a place to come for the arts. So much of this kind of incredible diversity and creativity that exists here is worth it and should be capitalized on. It really does feel like you're going somewhere else. Like it doesn't feel like you're in an old rooming house in some small residential street in Atlantic City. And it was the worst street in the area. There were a lot of people who would come and they would put in uh, parolees and Megan's Law offenders and put them in rooms in all the individual houses. So we refused to do that. Eventually we were able to turn one into an Airbnb and it's just continued to grow from there. There we go, congratulations. We've purchased properties on the street one by one since 2015, and we're so honored to inspire other people to buy in Atlantic City and live in Atlantic City. It's a great place to be with a great community and a fantastic art scene. It looked very, very different to say the least. There was furniture, cat hair, roaches, rats. They bought the house and donated it to us for a short period of time. This is so cool. Now we moved in, all local artists, who turned this into a completely immersive and very temporary pop-up art installation. What is that actually? It's that my imagination. Happen? Because the house was fully furnished, the artists had the opportunity to take from the house and use pieces that were already there for their installation. So like those chairs were already there and all of this was stuff that was in the house, all the pots and pans you see hanging from the ceiling, which is super cool. I find a real joy in getting to collaborate with other artists and to see their process and to learn from them and to grow and to kind of come together. For the full experience. <laughs> you just throw a bunch of artists in a place and we're like, all right, yeah, give us three days, we got this, you know? <laughs> so I use a lot of black light um, and painting in black light was an experience in itself. So I just wanted to be an experience for all the senses. Yeah. I think part of what makes the public art projects that we do so unique is that it's temporary and it's a moment where we all came together and created something amazing for a community and probably five years from now this will look completely different just like when we first started and it's going to be an Airbnb so people can stay here. The house will be open for free public viewing through November 21st. Then it's gone. So come see it while it's here. Sweet, love it.